how to audit smart contracts in 2023. Hello guys, my name is Johnny Time and welcome to another smart contract security tutorial. In today's video, we're going to learn what is a smart contract audit, how smart contract audit looks like and how it's been done and how you can start to audit smart contracts and I will obviously share my auditing methodology of how I audit and security, do security reviews and review smart contracts, find vulnerabilities and report them to the developers. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we start, let's understand what is a smart contract audit. Smart contract audit is a process where a security professional, blockchain Web3 security professional, is helping a developer, a team of developers that created smart contracts, a protocol, and basically he's going to take a look at the code at the smart contracts and try to find as many bugs as possible, report them to the protocol prior to deployment on the blockchain mainnet so they can fix all those bugs and vulnerabilities and make sure that the smart contracts and the protocol is safe. The smart contracts are safe, the protocol is secure, and that no malicious black hat hackers are going to hack the smart contracts and steal a lot of money from the protocols and from the user. Smart contract auditing and security is a very unique skill and that not many people possess and therefore the, the rewards and the monetary value that developers and teams are willing to pay for that is significantly high. So now what we understand is what is smart contract auditing and what are the benefits of being a smart contract auditor. Let's see how you can start auditing smart contracts and become a smart contract auditor or security researcher like we like to call it these days and how you can help protocols to secure the smart contracts and make sure that users don't lose money to criminal actors in the blockchain space and at the same time be part of a pool of highly skilled professionals and enjoy all the benefits and advantages, monetary benefits that comes with that. So it doesn't matter if you audit smart contract for a client or you're participating in something called auditing contest, which is kind of like public audit that a lot of researchers are participating in and finding vulnerabilities in smart contracts before they are being deployed to the blockchain in order to earn some money. It doesn't matter the methods, the methodology. For me, it all starts the same way. So usually as an auditor or security researcher, you will download the code base and the smart contract to your local machine and use your favorite visual, for me it's Visual Studio Code, you can use your favorite IDE with some extensions that are going to help you with your auditing process. If you want to learn more about the tools that I use and how I do my auditing, make sure to subscribe to the channel and watch other videos because I have plenty of educational videos and tutorials of what tools I use and what methodologies I have. My favorite two extensions are Solidity Visual Developers and Inline Bookmarks. These two extensions allow me to add comments while I go through the code, read it, and search for vulnerabilities. We will see in a moment how my auditing process looks like, but first I want to say that before you even start searching for vulnerabilities, you need to read the smart contracts and the documentation of the protocol because we ne you need to know what the DAP, the app, the smart contracts are all about. You cannot find vulnerabilities and bugs and exploit and hack the smart contracts without understanding their functionality, their, their reasoning and why they were created and what are the happy scenarios that users are supposed to go through the smart contracts. So your first step would be to read the documentation if you, if you have a documentation from the protocol, from the team, and read what is the protocol about, what are the smart contracts about, maybe you will have some diagrams there that will help you understand better how the protocol is supposed to work. And the next step would be to go through the code itself. So as you can see, I cloned, this is a code from an auditing contest, and I cloned the code to my local machine machine and I'm going through the code line by line to understand every single functionality, every single uh, thing that happens in the smart contracts. Sometimes the code will be assembled 
in multiple smart contracts. Sometimes it's going to be one huge smart contract, but usually it's going to be multiple smart contracts that are dependent on each other. I honestly suggest you to start with the smaller contracts. Don't deep dive into the biggest contracts because you might be overwhelmed. So always try to break down and understand the smaller contracts. Now, while I go through the smart contracts code, I also create a markdown file. Depends how much time I'm going to invest in this audit. Uh, this was an audit contest, which I did not invest so much time. So as you can see, I write all kinds of notes while going through the code. I explain to myself the functionalities of the function so I can 100% be sure how the protocol is working and how it's supposed to work. Then I start also thinking about undesired situations or attack scenarios where the protocol might get and the smart contract might get to a state that is not desired, that might be bad for the users and bad for the protocol and a malicious actor might exploit. Now, I didn't mention the both extensions for nothing because as you can see, I use these extensions to have these colored audit comments. You can see here audit info. So I add to myself comments along the code, meanwhile reading through it. So when I come back to it later, the audit process, it's a time range process, time box process, and it might take a few days, it might take a few weeks, depends how big is the code base and how complicated is the protocol. So you always want to leave notes so you can rather come back to the code and understand what's going on in this code section. So you can use this inline bookmarks and Solidity Visual Developer extensions to create these colorful notes and also later on to open here inline bookmarks and open here all your issues that you marked earlier on. As you can see, categorized with issue, okay, info, um, you can basically categorize them and see what open edges you have. Now, when you go and read smart contracts, you might be overwhelmed because not only you need to understand what is the smart contract about, you need to think like an attacker and to understand all the pitfalls and the security issues and the attack vectors which hackers can use to penetrate and hack those smart contracts. That's why it's crucial to understand how first to hack these smart contracts so you can find the vulnerabilities and suggest recommendations to the developers how to fix them. And I cannot express enough how this crucial step is in order to become a good smart contract security researcher to get into the attacker mindset and get the basics of smart contract hacking. And therefore, that's why I created this complete smart contract hacking practical course, which covers so many topics and attack vectors on smart contracts. In each chapter, I explain and break down the vulnerabilities. And these vulnerabilities led to recent attacks where millions of dollars were stolen. And obviously, after listening to me, you are going to practice. And every chapter comes with exercises, hands-on exercises, where you are going to find vulnerabilities in smart contract and hack them yourself. We also have guest lectures with the best professionals from the industry, like Trust, Pashov, and Owen. You will also get a certificate upon completion of the final test and final assessment of the job that will obviously help you increase your chances of landing your first Web3 security job or internship and an amazing, the best Web3 security community. So supportive, so helpful, where you can go through the course together with hundreds of students that already enrolled and got on board. Once you understand how smart contract security vulnerabilities look like and you know how to find them and exploit them, you are ready to go through the smart contract. And while you read through the smart contract, you will already see some issues that can be exploited by hackers. Now, anytime I see this issue, I add this audit issue comment tag. As you can see, it's automatically being uh, colored as red. And then I can go back to all these issues. And after I finish reviewing all the code, all the smart contracts, I can start writing and assemble my final report that will be sent to the client, right? It could be either the dev team or the judges in an auditing contest. So the way I activate my attacker mindset, I first think of the happy user scenarios, all the deposits, all the functions that the user is supposed to go through. And then I ask myself the following questions. Can the user lose money? 
Can the protocol or the smart contract lose money? Can funds get stuck in the smart contract? Can the smart contract get denial of service or disabled? All these questions are questions that are helping me to understand if there are any ways to break the happy user scenarios. If there are any inputs which I, as an attacker, can affect the protocol and affect the state of the smart contract to break all those happy scenarios. Then I ask myself other bad scenarios, right? So can somehow steal money from the protocol? Can a hacker steal money from the protocol? Can hackers steal money from other users that are using the protocol? Can a hacker make other user lose money? just for the sake of losing money, which is also called griefing attack. And then I write all the issues on the code itself using the audit comments. Now, once I finished finding all the vulnerabilities, the time box is almost over. I am completing and writing my report. Now that I wrote all my comments, it's much easier for me to assemble the report, to classify the vulnerabilities and create a pretty nice report. I use markdown files to write my reports. As you can see here, there is the finding summary and I classify my findings as high severity, medium severity, low severity, and gas optimization suggestions. And in the details finding sections, I have as detailed as possible sections which explain what are the issues about, on which line of codes I found them, and what is the recommendation, what is my recommendation, and what's the way of the team of the protocol to mitigate this vulnerability and make sure it's not exploited by hackers. The recommendation section is very important because this is what eventually allows them to write a secure code. Now, once I finish with my report, I convert my Markdown file to a PDF file using another VS Code amazing extension, Markdown to PDF, and I send it to the client so they can review it, fix the code, push the updates, and then obviously I take the new code and make sure that all the issues got resolved, which is also called the mitigation review process. So this is what smart contract auditing about. This is how you can start audit smart contracts and do security reviews and become a security blockchain security researcher. And this is my methodology of how I conduct security reviews. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button for more amazing educational videos about smart contract and blockchain security. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.